So I've been hanging out with a lot of vloggers lately and I figured it was about time to start a vlog with snowboarding. And I'm off to the US tomorrow to start the second World Cup of the season and I figured it was a uh, good idea to start with the uh, packing of trying to get all of this and all of them into that. This is gonna be interesting. So I've got one, two, three, four, five snowboards that are gonna be interesting to get away. Uh, crap load of undies, cause you know, you always need undies. Uh, some pants, workout clothes, goggles, helmet, backpack, you know, some shorts, always need your budgie smugglers, uh, crap load of socks, snowboarding gear, gotta get the cameras, a few pair of boots, a few pair of bindings, some shoes, some radios for the team, so let's get into it, let's start with uh, the first board bag. Yeah. Gonna have to split the boards up to make the weight fit evenly because I only have a certain amount of weight restrictions. Luckily I've got some sort of status with United so I can get some in but so I'll go with they're the two latest ones. They've got green and gold logoing on the whole thing, which is really cool. Tesla does an amazing job with these boards. And he makes the fastest boards in the world, so it's even better. Um, one board bag. I'm just going to sit you down and start this, because this is going to take a while. One bag down, one board bag to go. I think that might be the second bag packed. It's a lot easier when things are mapped out. So. Sweet. Two board bags down, one duffel bag to go. Hold that, let's turn this up. So this is where it gets a little more tricky, trying to pack that bag. Get all of this stuff to get in there. And you don't know if you have enough stuff. So let's give this one a go. Especially when you're trying to pack for three months, getting to, like, being from Australia, we have to pack for longer periods, obviously, because coming home is a 14 hour flight at the minimum and that's only if you're going from the US back home so it's a lot harder to get home in the middle of the season that's why coming home for Christmas after the first World Cup is so great because we get a little bit of summer The must-haves. Budgie smugglers, speedos, whatever you want to call them. Must-have. So I think that bag's packed. I mean, I'm not sure, but it seems like it. Uh, Fingers crossed I haven't forgotten anything. Now for the last bag. The hardest of them all. The carry-on. What do you bring? Converter. Portable charger slash GoPro charger. Neck pillow, because everybody needs a good night's sleep on a plane. Portable hard drive. So I think I'm fully packed. I got my duffel bag, my game ready, my onboard, my two board bags, 
So I think I'm pretty much ready. I gotta get ready to go into the city to enjoy my last night in Sydney. So, had a bit of change of plans. We're now going to Hornsby for a family dinner and I got Gaza. Last night in Sydney, figured we may as well just come down and check out Curabilly and then you get that Sydney Opera House up bridge. Not a bad way to leave Sydney. I'm definitely going to miss Sydney. It's the coolest city on earth and especially with views like this, it's hard to leave. Especially when this is only five minutes from your house, but I am definitely excited to go back onto my snowboard in Utah and uh, get ready for the second World Cup of the season. Damn it! See you soon, America. <laughs>